I'm going to teach you right now if you're a solopreneur on how to become an entrepreneur. And this is how you're going to double your income like tomorrow. I want you to do a little bit of research to find how much it costs to hire somebody that's at or above your level to do the work that you do. Dig around, make some phone calls, send out some fake emails if you have to, to say, hey, I'm interested in hiring you for a project to collaborate with me. I'm curious how you structure your fees. And when you get three or more, that's enough data for me. Do the average, add them up and divide by three or whatever number, okay? What you're gonna soon realize is you're probably charging less than what the market value is for what you do, generally speaking. Now here's what you do with this information. Let's just say you do graphic design, whatever that, that means, and you find another graphic designer that's at or above your level. And let's find out, let's just learn that they say they charge $1,000 a day. The next time you have to go and bid on a project, I want you to act as if, you don't have to do it, just act as if you had to hire that person to manage that person and to manage the risk if that person doesn't work out. And then I want you to charge accordingly. So if I bring on somebody, I think it's gonna take them five days at $1,000 a day. If I just charge $5,000, I'm gonna lose money because if it takes them twice as long, I'm done for. But then I also have to realize, well, I brought in the project. Well, I have to pay a salesperson to do that job. I have to manage the project. So I have to pay a production manager to manage it, project coordinator. And then I have to make profit on top of that. So then each one of those very specific roles would cost you money to do. You'd have to pay this out, right? So if you add all that stuff up and you add, generally speaking, like say 20 to 30% profit on top of that, that's how you run a business. So when you put together a bid, adding all those parts and pieces and adding profit and padding, because things never go like the way you think, then when you get the project, you get to decide, do I feel like I want to work on this myself and not hire anybody? Or I can actually hire somebody and run this project the way that I think. This is really critical. Let me say this a slightly different way. I was listening to this piece from Grant Cardone, who's like a sales specialist, but he said something that made a lot of sense. He's like, I buy apartment complexes with like 200 units or more because at a certain point, the units pay for a manager associated with it because I don't want to be a building manager because if I manage it, that's now my job, I become a manager. So I want you to think of yourself as an investor whose money makes money. So you're investing in a creative team. You cannot play any of those roles only if you choose to, not because you have to. Now, most of you guys cannot afford to hire other people because you bid too low on the project and you will lose money if you bring on anybody else. The remedy to this is to actually find out how much it costs to do and give yourself the luxury or the option of hiring other people. Whether you do or not doesn't matter at that point because then you'll find the true market value for what you're doing. I hope that helps. If you start to do this, you're going to transform your business from a solo operation to a multi-person operation. And the way that you scale this up over time is you work with freelancers. The freelancers you fall in love with, you just book them more often and you extend their booking so that you don't lose them. And eventually you love them so much that you say, I'd like to offer you a full-time opportunity. Are you interested in doing that? But I would wait. I would make sure you're totally committed. This is the right person. And then you hire them. Because like most creatives, we find it very hard to fire people, myself included. So don't be quick to hire. If you can do that, you will grow your business and you'll start to scale up.